Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about the New York Giants 2017 Season Review Analytics. And this video really is going to focus in on uh, where the Giants failed this year. So we're going to look at all the areas, statistically speaking, where they kind of fell short. Uh, and then we're also going to get into how to get better. Because I don't want this video just to be a giant, this is how bad the Giants were this year. You know, really look at where they were above average, where they were below average. And then, of course, give you some perspective on how they can get better for the future so that they can actually start to win more football games. So um, based on data, based on statistics. So that's the focus of this video. All terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the data work that I do and the analytics that I do, you can just go to the description and get all that information. But ultimately, again, this video is not to just tell you all the reasons why the Giants were terrible, but to tell you why they were terrible and then give you some perspectives on what they need to target in free agency and the draft in terms of different positions and just different sort of ideas about how to get better as a football team for the future. Um, so that's what this video is really going to be about. And now let's get to it. So uh, looking at the 2017 season data, uh, when you look at the overall stuff, I, the, the defense was worse than the offense to a certain extent. Um, the offense, the weird thing about the Giants' offense was that they didn't have a very bad turnover ratio. I mean, they didn't turn the football over that badly compared to other teams since 1998. They also didn't allow as many sacks compared to other teams since 1998. So they were actually above average in terms of their ability to prevent sacks and above average in terms of their ability to prevent turnovers uh, or not turn the football over. But their offensive score percentage was absolutely dreadful. 6.414 uh, 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 out of 100. That's not getting it done when it comes to putting points on the board. Uh, their defense, uh, defensive offensive score percentage was 28.35 out of 100. Again, that's not getting it done either when it comes to preventing points. Um, the turnover ratio was non-existent almost. Um, the sack percentage was also fairly non-existent. Um, interception percentage was also fairly non-existent. So on defense, uh, they didn't really prevent a lot of points. Uh, they didn't really create a lot of turnovers. They didn't create a lot of sacks, and they did not create a lot of interceptions either. So it was just kind of a double whammy of issues on defense. They just weren't really able to get anything done. Um, and offensively speaking, the offense just wasn't able to put up points. And that combination is why um, the, the Giants lost as many football games as they did this year. Uh, and then, of course, when you get to special teams, it was just bad on special teams. The punt return yardage uh, overall score was 4.41 out of 100, so they didn't really have a good punt returner. Um, the kick return yardage was also below average, so no good kick returner. The defensive punt return yardage was below average. Defensive uh, kick return yardage was pretty decent, but defensive punt return yardage was below average. Um, field goal percentage, so the place kicker, 13.07 out of 100. That's not getting it done. You know, you want it, you, I mean, and field goal percentage is really, really important to winning a lot of football games um, or consistently winning football games. So, um, again, that's not where you want it to be uh, at all. Uh, extra point percentage was also pretty bad, and punting average was also below average. So, um, in many ways, the offense was below average in terms of putting points on the board. The defense was below average in terms of most of the very significant statistics, if not all, actually all of them. Um, and the special teams was also below average in terms of all of the significant statistics. So, just not a good team overall across the board for the Giants. Um, and getting to the next part, this is how this Giants team compares to every Giants team since 1998. Uh, in terms of where they got worse, they got worse in terms of putting points on the board. Uh, they got worse on defense, uh, turnovers, sacks, interceptions, punting, you know, punt returns, kick returns, um, defensive punt returns, uh, field goal percent, place kicker especially. They went from having a 98.43 place kicker to a 13.07 place kicker. Um, and then, of course, the, the extra point percentage and the punting average. So um, the Giants just regressed in virtually every single uh, statistic uh, in terms of their data. So definitely a big, you know, big, big issue, you know, for them going forward. So um, definitely kind of something to kind of think about. Uh, in terms of how bad this Giants team was since 1998, they actually were the worst Giants team, statistically speaking, since 1998. Um, and this is just based on their overall statistical score. Um, so again, not a very good year for the Giants, to say the least. Um, very poor year um, in every single statistic uh, for the most part, uh, and every significant statistic. So definitely kind of gives you some perspective about how bad this year was. Uh, 
but um, definitely not a, a good sign for them, uh, you know, going forward in terms of the amount of work they have to do. Um, but now let's get into how to get better. So we went over all the areas where the Giants were really bad or below average. So now let's get into how to get better. And this chart deals with that specifically. This chart looks at the average score for a 12 to 16 win team based on all these data points, nine to 11 win team, eight wins or more and seven wins or less. So it just gives you a perspective on where your team is now and where your team needs to be or where your team should be in order to win more football games. Um, and when you look at this information, it's pretty clear the offense has to improve in terms of offensive score percentage. Uh, the defense has to, has to improve in terms of defensive offensive score percentage. They, the defense has to get better in terms of creating turnovers, creating sacks, creating interceptions, uh, punt return yardage and kick return yardage. They have to at least become average at that. Um, that's all they have to do is to become average at that, but they were significantly below average in those areas. Um, defensive punt return yardage also needs to, to go down. Field goal percentage with a place kicker, you know, they went from a 90 plus place kicker to a 13.07. You, you can't win a lot of football games when it's that low. Extra point percentage also was fairly low. Punting average was also fairly low. And of course, their overall score was just dreadful. Um, so lots of areas that they really have to improve upon on offense um, and defense and ev everything, special teams. So this is a big, big project to say the least. But those are the areas that you should really keep in your head and in your mind that these are the, you know, this is where you are and this is where you need to be. So it kind of gives you a perspective of how, um, how, how high you have to climb, so to speak. You know, this, this isn't something that's going to happen overnight, but this just give you a perspective on how to get better in terms of the overall data. Um, and then the final point we're going to get to, or chart, I should say, um, this chart basically deals with other sort of data points. So again, all terms and definitions are in the description. So you can pause the video right now and kind of look at all those other terms and kind of do your own kind of stuff if you want. Um, but this just gives you a perspective in terms of how things went from 2016 to 2017 uh, based on all the other, you know, all the, the, the overall data and just give you some perspective about how to get better in the future. Um, the biggest thing though is completion percentage definitely took a hit. Uh, from 2016 to 2017 when it comes to first uh, down completion percentage. Um, second down got a little bit better. Third down got worse. Um, the running game. Um, in 2016, you actually had an above average second down conversion rate. In 2017, first down, third down, and third, and uh, first down, second down, and third down were all below average. Um, so again, the running game is not, I mean, you have not had a very good running game since 2012 that was the last year we actually had a fairly decent across the board um for uh first down conversion rate whether it was first down second down or third down so the running game is definitely not where it needs to be and of course first down conversion rate with the pass on on first down second down and third down just dreadful worse than 2016 and this is how you get here you know how do you go from having um you know basically having this bad of an offensive score percentage this is how, when you don't have a very good running game that can convert and you don't have a very good passing game that convert that can that can uh, convert, this is what happens. Um, so ultimately, where do you wanna improve? So now we're just gonna get into like, you know, like areas to target and free agency in the draft. I think you need to go after offensive skill position players. Uh, you have to get more wide receivers. You have to get more running backs, uh, more tight ends. Um, if you want to get a quarterback, that's fine. I mean, don't get me wrong. Eli Manning has never been the most efficient quarterback ever, so I'm, I'm not blaming you if you want to get rid of him, but it just gives you you know, some perspective there. Uh, but defense especially really needs to improve. Every single area, you need to get like everything. You need to get guys to sack the quarterback. You need to get guys to get turnovers, to get interceptions, um, to be playmakers. So defense really lacks playmakers and i understand a lot of you guys are going to go playmakers but we have jason pierre paul and we have this guy we have that guy but those guys aren't getting it done you know what have you done for me lately as eddie murphy used to say but those are all the areas that i would target uh when it comes to free agency in the draft uh you know different positions and just things to keep in mind about how to get this team to improve um for the future uh because there definitely is a new gm and there's new you know there's new, a lot of new things coming uh so We'll see ultimately what they do, but these this video should just give you a perspective in terms of where they are and where they need to be. Um, so you can focus in on where they need to be in free agency and of course the draft. 
Um, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well uh, with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.